Rhino bike is a single wheel electric motorcycle. 10 miles an hour, travel in the bike lane or the sidewalk, take it with you on the train. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's a self-balancing, single-wheeled, personal transportation product. The inspiration for this bike wasn't, you know, some uh, mad scientist experiment to build something crazy. It was literally, you know, my daughter and I are riding out to go fishing. She's 13 years old, and out of the silence says, Hey, Daddy, I saw this one-wheeled motorcycle in a video game. Could you actually build that? And she takes a piece of paper and scribbles this sketch and shows it to me. And we talked about it. You know, I mean, she knows I'm an engineer. And okay, how would I actually build this? You know, the first step is to get your head around. You know, what do you do to ride on one wheel? So I literally took my mountain bike and hacksawed it off, and put a seat on the package shelf behind, and I put the handlebars where the seat is, and I tried to pedal this thing around my backyard, and it was impossible. So then I said, all right, well, all right, we've got to put some gyro stabilization. I'm thinking about motors, and you know, so I bought some chains, and a year later. You know, after loading all these software boards and getting the motors working and it balanced front and back, great, but it was impossible to ride. Tony, my software guy, was just really adamant. He says, dude, you know, if we can't make this thing dead simple, it's going to cost too much and it's never going to go anywhere. We welded together something that looked like a frame and stuck some handlebars out in front of, you know, this bike and the wheel underneath it and he loaded the software and, and a month and a half later we took it over my house and, and turned it on and I got on that thing. And, and in 10 minutes, I was riding around my neighborhood like I'm riding a bike. I grew up in Detroit. I mean, it's a scrappy town, right? I mean, it's a rough town. I grew up in a house where my dad was an engineer. I started designing machinery uh, for the auto industry right out of high school. So after 15 years, I got to be a pretty good mechanical engineer. We are living in an amazing time because there's so much of the subcomponents that have been integrated so we've bought and searched and aggregated you know, all of this stuff. The magic really is how do you integrate all that into something that operates completely seamlessly and gives the rider this experience that they can totally trust. The balance technologies in this bike rely on an interesting combination of two devices. One device is an accelerometer and then there's a gyro. When you update the gyro with the accelerometer, you get a really accurate location of where the center of the earth is and the tilt angle that you know, deviates from that. So the bike wants to stay on zero tilt angle. But the fact that somebody can look so relaxed uh, riding along on a single wheel is just fascinating to people. You know, when you transition through that training experience, which is only 15 minutes to ride in a straight line and a couple of days, you know, riding around the basketball courts to get calibrated, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. The thing that is different about the Rhino is it's, it's personal mobility, it's on the sidewalk. I can park it at the bike rack. I can go in the bike lane. So that takes me completely off the street where I get stuck at a traffic light. It's funny because until you actually have a Rhino, you don't see this other landscape. It sort of appears. We did it. We reinvented the wheel. Number two. How do you engineer an experience? When you strip away everything weighing you down, holding you back, you begin to float away, weightless, hovering. This is the hoverboard, the essence of pure motion captured, refined, and reinvented. The hoverboard translates your will into motion. A single point of contact with the ground minimizes friction and frees your movement from a linear path. Inside, precision sensors and electronics smooth and stabilize your ride, gently accelerating in whichever direction you lean. The controls are intuitive. Gently apply pressure to one end of the board to accelerate. Lean gently to one side or the other to turn in that direction. When you stop, you can set the board down on its side to dismount. The electric motor powers a top speed of 20 miles per hour perfectly balancing safety with efficiency at every turn. In my first company, I had to figure out some way to pack all of the control electronics and the drive electronics into the motor itself. I succeeded in doing that and we called the product the Smart Motor. That really poised me perfectly for making the ultimate personal electric vehicle. The hoverboard moves you, but it's also a part of you. 
with endless personalization options to make your hoverboard a perfect fit for you. Built-in speakers pair with your smartphone, giving you the perfect soundtrack for your daily commute or weekend joyride. Onboard lighting gives you visibility at night, letting you ride a cloud of light to your destination. The hoverboard is perfectly balanced in both form and function. It's fully electronic, whisper quiet, and amazingly efficient. The high capacity battery takes you 15 to 20 miles on a single charge. And the best part, it's not just an idea. We are riding the experience today. The thing that sets hoverboard apart is that it really does take skill to operate. It's an earned experience. You have to get in touch with the nuances of the hoverboard. And once you do, the reward is a gliding, kind of willful experience that carries you where you want to go. The hoverboard is the ultimate form in a new class of electronic transportation, connecting us to our world in a way we've never experienced before. As of this moment that we're shooting this video, there are only six people on the planet that can ride a hoverboard. We all have one thing in common. We cannot stop riding it. So we want to find out how many other people share our passion for the hoverboard. And we've set up our Kickstarter reward tiers to reward those people the most who sign up first. So if you're as passionate about hoverboard as we are, back us on Kickstarter and join us in taking your first step into the future. Number three. What's amazing about One Wheel is the experience of riding it. We combine the motion sensing technology from a smartphone with the motor and battery technology like you'd find in a Tesla to create a self-balancing electric skateboard controlled simply by leaning your body. We started with the dream of a hoverboard, the smooth feeling of flying over pavement. And inspired by this vision of the future, we created an incredible ride that feels like a natural extension of your balance. One Wheel is designed to be intuitive. Whether you're a pro or never been on a board, you can learn the basics in under a minute. And there's plenty of room to challenge yourself by riding more aggressively or inventing new tricks. There are no hand controls. You just lean toward your front foot to go faster and your back foot to slow down or even reverse. Regenerative braking kicks in as you come to a stop. At the heart of one wheel is a state-of-the-art direct drive brushless motor in the hub of the wheel. Movement and balance are achieved by a custom controller that reads gyro and accelerometer sensors thousands of times a second. The high-speed charger gives the lithium batteries minute-for-minute -minute charging. We made one wheel a maneuverable and dynamic experience. And unlike skateboarding where you feel every little crack and pebble in the street, one wheel feels a lot more like surfing or snowboarding. The large tire and carefully tuned algorithms allow you to carve the pavement as if it were water or fresh powder. I remember I was a kid watching Back to the Future and just dreaming of what it'd be like to be on a board floating above the street. Every time I'm on a one wheel, I think about that. It feels like you're just flying down the road. It's this wonderful feeling of just stepping on this thing and thinking about where you want to go and you're off. And you lean very much like you do on a snowboard. You just kind of lean into the turns you want to go on and one wheel just kind of carves for you. It's a pretty magical experience. It's like taking that mountain, laying it out flat, and every street becomes like a fresh powder run. We've invested five years and a lot of money building countless prototypes to get One Wheel to where it is today. Everyone who rides it loves it, and with your help, we want to make One Wheel available to the world. We've worked with all kinds of manufacturers on other products, and we believe the U.S. is the best place to build an advanced product like One Wheel. But that kind of quality costs money, so we need backers like you who share our vision of creating amazing electric vehicles. With your backing, we'll pay for tooling costs and build the first ever one wheel production run. Join us in revolutionizing the experience of riding. Number four.
Number 5. We are so proud to finally be able to bring you the Moto Pogo, the full size self balancing motorcycle. Just lean forward to go and lean back to stop. Go downhill or uphill with no problem. Its super bright headlights and taillights ensure your safety for night riding. And you can pretty easily put it in your car. You can even remove the handle if it's a tighter fit. To go up or down stairs, leave it on and with just a little help it'll motor itself up and down stairs. It's fast, it's cool, it's powerful and it's solid. So get yourself a Moto Pogo. Your friends and everyone you'll meet will go crazy and you'll have so much fun. So join us in revolutionizing the motorcycle.